We're back in the Mazda MX-5's rookie series. This is at the Charlotte Roval. This is my first time racing at one of these so-called Rovals, and let me tell you what, it's, it's different. So, I have not had any time this week to hardly practice at all, so I'm coming into this even more blind than usual. I mean, it's not going to be pretty, but I wanted to get some racing in this week's and some of the better practice is in race conditions, I think. So let's just go out and do it. That being said, I am not going to qualify, but I probably will go out there and practice, use qualifying, get myself disqualified on purpose and use it as a little practice session. But I'm not going to make you watch that. I'll see you back for the start of the race. All right, qualifying is over. I ran a lap that would have probably put me in fifth place. It was like a 135.8. But like I said, I uh, did an unsafe exit to make sure I was it wouldn't count. Because I don't really want to be in the middle of this. If I could guarantee front row probably would but I'm um, 1.2 uh, <clears throat> of even having a shot at that so we'll start in the back and see what happens I don't have high hopes for this race other than maybe I can keep it on the road and others won't and that's kind of what these uh, low uh, strength of field races are like I'm usually one of the slower ones but hopefully Laps. The on track. All right. The air temp is oh, we got a person Fahrenheit. jumping to start. I did okay, that one week. Here we go. Green, green. Let's go. Let's go. These cars go. just hilariously slow at the start. It's funny. I am not. So one person back there already. Am I clear my inside? I guess I. There ain't anybody behind me hardly. Slow car ahead. There's an incident. Turn two. Right. Clear right. Okay. So you're on the right. We're still in second gear. Haven't even shifted past second yet, I don't think. Good start. Keep it up. Sorry for hissing there. Really bad. Go left. Car right. right. Clear right. Clear. Really bad at most of this track, so just be prepared. These chicanes are not fun for me. <laughs> I never hit them the same twice in a row, that's for sure. So we got his cars that are faster than me behind me, but maybe prone to flying off the track. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. We got one more chicane day here. here. I wasn't even in the gear at that. Nice here. one, Justin. This is terrific. Exactly what we came here for. P5. I feel like I almost pulled my wheel off the desk. I was pulling on it so hard for no good reason. All right. Am I really? Oh my god, I have no idea how I'm P5. That's for dang sure. There's a whole lot of wrong gear shenanigans going on in that last lap, so let's try to get that fixed. Chicane, here we go. Okay, 
So I'm pretty sure I never downshifted here last time or something. Wasn't my intent. Just keep hitting your mark. V5, that lap time was 136.40. You've got a slow car on the right. We think P2 has gone off in turn three. Right there. All right, roll time. Chicane time. The gap ahead is now 1.4. Let me tell you what, I can't wait till summer's over and the temperatures go down, because it sucks. The leader has just done a 135.00. You're in fourth position. The lap time was 135.79. That's your fastest lap today. Wow! That was impressive. Just hoping that slows me way down. Didn't get any X's out of it, but that was unforced. And, and about as stupid as a mistake as you can make, probably. I know I'm really slow right there. Well, I'm really slow everywhere, but. Just out cruising. Try not to hit any walls for no reason, again. I thought for sure my major mistakes would be the chicanes, and I know I'm doing them slow, but so far I haven't had an incident out of them. The guy that I watched was like, on this one you should hop the first curb, but not the second one. And the second one you need to hop them both and straight line it as much as possible, but man, I suck at it. Sometimes I will just spin out coming out of there, so I'm really hesitant usually. The guy ahead has just done a 135.09. You've just done a 136.04. I must be going slower than normal. I'm like, I, I had to let off to prevent doing that same mistake again. Uh, the losing these guys is me, but six seconds. That's fine. Is any wall I've been prone to hitting, it's that one right there. Alright, so ahead of me is 2.5, behind me is 4.6. seconds. Kind of by myself a little bit, no pressure. Fifth time coming through here. way too hot or something, but we survived it. There's an incident in the first chicane. That's behind me.
Totally missed it. Push it down. You got five laps to go. Push it down there. All right, Justin. That's half distance. You're looking slow. good for fuel. There we go. No issues trying to hit the inside wall this time. Maybe I should be shifting down to second there. I don't. I got, like I said, I got a lot less practice than I normally do <clears throat> this week. I decided just to get in there and race it. I'm starting to lose to behind me. Got threat from possible two different people. If I go slow enough, they can get me back. That was a one thirty seven point zero zero. wrong. I can't remember what the guides were saying to do. So I'm, I'm just winging it there. Yeah, 2.8 behind me now. It's... Looking like I might have people on my rear before this is all said and done. But that's okay, as long as they don't take me out or I don't screw them up. If I lose two positions, I'm not going to cry about it. I should not be in fourth place, that's for sure. Missed the first one. The track temp's increasing. It's now oh, something happened ahead of me. Fahrenheit. What? What? I didn't even see it. I'm not going to lie. last lap was a 136.33. The guy behind has just done a 134.74. Justin, gaining on this car, the gap is 1.0. Yep, I'm trying harder than normal here. Unfortunately, all that's going to do is the get the car behind catching. me. The gap's now 1.7. Quicker than you, entering turn three. I am sweating. Oh, I hate how hot it is in this room. God. If I wasn't recording this, I would have a fan just blasting on me right now. Alrighty. We've got two laps yet after the, at the line. Two laps to go. Two to go. Blowing it in there way too fast. V4, two to go. Got 
two wall hits to my name. Wonder what the Peppa Mobile looks like after all that. to hit the same wall again. Get some draft. Car took the pressure off. Has been in the first chicane. All right. Himself and the person behind him got what slowed by it, so I don't have to worry about them. So I'll stay as close to these guys as I can, see if they make a mistake. But I'm absolutely not going to try anything stupid. Got such a better run out of that chicane than I did. The car behind's pitting. Oh, almost hit the wall. The gap in front is now 1.0 seconds. Yeah, I'm going to need these guys to take each other out. But they're not. Six isn't close enough to them to really do that with that. Not that I'm hoping for that. I don't want to give the wrong impression. Distraction. I saw him hit the wall and I'm like, take advantage? Oh. Forget what I'm supposed to do and that's a break there. Or at least slow down. That's okay. Man, is it hot in this room. You need a shower after this. So one more tricky part to navigate. All right. Okay, I'll take over. a P4. Good drive. All right. There's the ticket flag. Good job. Very good job. Zero XP for good race. A Zero XP for two wall hits. Didn't count as any X's, I guess, so that's okay. Um, the leader was just gone. But, uh... 135.7 was my best. Consistent ish for me. I'll take it. I'm not expecting to become the best there ever was at this very quickly. All right, let's uh, maybe see what happened out there. That's, yeah, I had to navigate that. Yep, I was just patient, get through there. Can't say anything about wall hits. I hit a wall twice. I'm sure that'll show in here. I really missed the corner there. This is tricky, but it's fun. This car is not operating correctly. It looked like wheel issues. The one wall hit was the worst. The one where I hit that inside wall. It's like I turned too quickly. 
Is that this coming up? <laughs> okay. No, I had no off tracks. That is, for me, that's pretty good. Oh, not the only one who had an incident right there. Mine was a little bit harder of a hit, but. Barely moving. That's probably an off track. And a loss of control. What we got going on here. Is this how I caught them all of a sudden? My guess is yes. <clears throat> They never really got away from me after that. There was my other wall hit. None of them counted for X's though. Doesn't mean I should make it a habit of doing it. I can take solace in that I'm not the only one by far hitting the wall here. What is the 12 doing there? That one's worth taking. This is, the race is not over yet, is it? No, lap nine? I mean, first of all, unsafe rejoin, but pretend this car isn't there. Where is he going? That way? Why? Maybe this way. He's not going fast enough where he couldn't make this work. This is, yeah, this is right behind me. This is, I don't know how I don't realize that's me right there. I was like, going to have pressure. So not only did he take himself out, he, and then he, I don't know. It benefited me, I guess, but I, you know, it makes you wonder why. Let's get through these. Is this after the race? Or hard saying. All right. Well, if anyone who watched that along, <clears throat> along with the... Oh, wow. I can't talk. Thanks for watching. That's what I'm trying to say. Um... Trying to do more road racing, and I'm really loving it. I might try to do ARCA this week. I don't know what else I'm going to do. I haven't done any dirt racing in a while. Maybe I'll see what's there. But, yeah. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching.